channel yeah, yeah, yeah. if you're new to our channel make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button yes, also like this video and what else they gotta do babe make sure y'all turn on the post notifications so, so every, every time, time we post y'all the, the first, first to know. know cj fam i was telling this beautiful woman right here how amazing life is like how you can really manifest the things that you want mm -hmm. like literally everything that i have right now you guys like me and Jess living together, the career that I currently have, our channel, and Louie as well. Like, all of those things, I literally manifest. Yes, it's so crazy. I don't know if you guys believe in manifestation, but we do. We strongly do believe in manifestation. Like, it's facts. If you, our minds are so powerful. So, if you just put your mind to it, if you just focus on the positivity in life, yeah. then you're just gonna manifest more positivity. You're gonna attract abundance of positivity. Yeah. So whatever you focus on, whatever your mind is focused on, that's what you're gonna attract. Yeah. If you have a clearer vision, like you have a clear perspective, you know exactly what you want, ain't nothing gonna stop you from getting it but you. Like, you just gotta get up, get it, stay consistent, stay focused on that thing until you achieve it. Yeah, it's so crazy, cause like even something as simple as Louie, you guys, I like five years ago. She literally manifested it. I, my dad actually took my sister and I to the mall and we walked into this pet store and I saw a gray Frenchie and you guys, I kid you not, I took a video of that Frenchie. I still have it. <laughs> um, I sent it to Calvin and yep. I was like, this will be my dog. Yep. Just wait. Like this will be our dog. Yeah. Given some time, even though it's like years later, yeah. We have Louie now, Louis a great man. Frenchie, and Louis like, Louis and it's a crazy story how, story how that happened. Like, not to go too into it, but we did have another Frenchie, and yeah. um, she was black and white, and um, heaven so gained cool. an angel with her. God also blessed us with Louie, which was a great Frenchie, which is so crazy. If you keep the mindset of what you want and keep a positive mindset, like it'll come to you. Yep, exactly. I was telling Jess this morning too, like. We're so grateful for you guys that comment on our videos every time we post mm -hmm. and for y'all to be showing genuine love. Like y'all genuinely support us and we really appreciate y'all. Like there's a handful of y'all that really be doing that. Mm -hmm. And I'm just, I'm just thinking about like, this channel is gonna hit a million subscribers. It's only a matter, matter of time before we hit a million Put subscribers. Put that out there baby. Put that out there. You feel me? <laughs> so like, it's gonna be dope man. Like when we have you guys, you guys know who you are too. You guys that are commenting every time we post, that you guys are here with us now when we have you know X amount of subscribers, and y'all gonna be there when we have a million subscribers, man. And we just really looking forward to like doing giveaways and like really showing y'all love, man, because like we appreciate the support that y'all give us and like taking time out of y'all busy lives and busy days yes. to support uh -huh. us and watch our videos, man. So that really means a lot. And with that being said, go ahead and leave a comment down below. If you don't comment on our channel, make sure you go ahead and comment. That way we see you. That way we know who you are. That way we can connect with you guys a little bit more. So go ahead right now, pause this video, drop a comment down below. Hey. Let us know where you're tuning in from. Say what it do, what it do. <laughs> but you guys, real talk, side note, aside from that, you know you're getting old when you get really excited to go to furniture stores or like <laughs> decor decor stores. Yeah, home decor. Home decor stores as you get older because we're on our way to Bed Bath & Beyond right now. We're about to take you guys with us. We just got on the freeway, so we'll catch you guys in a minute. Yeah. What's up? Oh, that's hella cute. I'm getting this for Louie. You gonna get it? Oh my gosh, what? feel it. It's so soft. It's like a little costume for him? No, it's just like, look, and it's Ugg. Oh yeah, we gotta It'll get that. It'll keep him warm. You guys, Louie loves 
he has this like sweater that he loves. It's mm -hmm. a Christmas sweater, but like it's not Christmas time anymore, so we need to upgrade him. <laughs> yeah, he and needs he a new sweater. He likes to be warm. Yeah. I don't know if he's gonna like the foot thing, but <laughs> he's gonna love that, babe. Babe, babe, come here. I found the perfect product for you. What? Look, you can use this for your mustache. Shut up. <laughs> yeah. Look what I found. It's a cat massager. Ooh. And you just like. You gonna massage me with that? Massage doesn't do much. You gotta put some like oil or something. Yeah. Good. CJ fam just just left right now. Here she go. She over there walking. She about to go get her mom some hair stuff from some store, from some professional salon store. But I thought it would be the perfect time to let y'all know what we got going on. Today, I'm gonna be telling Jessica that I lowered my standards when I got with her. Bro, this is such like, you don't do this, bro. You don't, you don't tell your girl that. Your girl gonna be thinking that you think she don't look that good, like that you could get better females than her. And then two, it's just dumb, bro. Like, why would you tell your girl this? And that's exactly why we gonna do it today, CJ fam. Make sure y'all drop Team Calvin down in the comments, you guys. You know, when you're a young man, what you're looking for in a woman is more physical attributes. You know, you're looking for the girl with the fatty, with the dump truck. When you're younger, as a young man, y'all know what's up. We tend to look at girls more for physical attributes. But as I've grown into the, the fine young man that I am today, I've realized that it's so much more than the physical attributes. Like, no matter who you with, there's always going to be someone that's either more successful, more attractive, beautiful facial features, or just a physical specimen. They might have just the perfect tummy to booty ratio, all that. They might have that all, they might check all the physical boxes, but it's not even about that, bro. It's more so about the connection. I realized that it's not about those physical attributes. It's about the connection that you have with that person. And if that person is uplifting you and making sure that you're a better person, you know, I want to get too deep on y'all. But today we pranking Jessica. I'm telling her that I lowered my standards when I got with her. If you're new to our channel, make sure y'all go ahead and subscribe, man. Me and Jess, we on the road to 10K. And we gonna get there soon. We need y'all help though. So go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you turn on your post notifications. Hey, we're going to get into this prank. I'm going to set the camera up in the back of the car. So when she gets in, she don't know that we filming. We don't know. She don't know we recording. So I'm going to hide the camera. You feel me? I already know we're going to get a good reaction out of Jess. Let's get into this prank, y'all. Yay. Hey, you guys, she's coming right now. Got it? Yeah. Were you able to get everything she needed? Yeah, I just got her conditioner and I got myself dry shampoo. I hope she likes how it smells. Wanna smell it? What do you think? Smell good? It do smell good, but it kind of has like a weird... Don't say that. She's smell. not gonna like it. My mom is like so it. picky with her scents. Yeah. <sighs> Maybe I'm hungry. I'm, I'm to ready to eat. Food. Yeah. I'm starving. Babe. I'm about to get hangry. It's crazy. I saw this guy on TikTok. He's like, not to be mean, but he's not the most attractive guy. Uh -huh. He's like short. He has like thin hair. He's kind of overweight and pale. Uh -huh. And he got a bad, like a baddie, like like Victoria's Secret model baddie, <laughs> like Fashion Nova girlfriend? model. Yeah. Like, Are they really together though? Or? <laughs> I mean, that's what, I don't know if he's like her mm -hmm. sugar daddy or... Okay. I mean, they could really be in love. Yeah, they just have that connection. I had a friend that had a sugar daddy, and she ended up like really falling for him and no yeah, having feelings for him. Yeah, but she was young, younger than me. Like, are they eight. still together? I don't know. I haven't talked to her since like school. That's crazy. It's been a long time. I was thinking about that too. So it could happen. That's what I was thinking about. Like, I feel like it's more common to see a girl kind of lower her standards for a certain guy like physical mm -hmm. 
like okay he, he might not be the most attractive but maybe he's like really loving and like caring can make her laugh and like provides for her mm -hmm. yeah it's, sometimes it's like about the connection or like what you feel and not really of course i feel like looks does play into part but sometimes yeah. some women fall more for their personality for the personality yeah yeah i feel like it goes both ways though men you too. feel like guys too yeah guys too i can see that yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, like, if I think about our relationship, like, I did lower my standards, like, getting with you. What? Like, I lowered, like, Get I... Get the fuck out of here. What? No, you did not. You're... Don't take it the wrong way, because it does... It sounds weird. Like, even saying it sounds kind of weird, but, like... You lowered your standards for me. Yeah. Like, because I have, like... You ever heard of the term, like... Clarify. You should clarify. What do you what do you mean by that? Like, you ever what heard, that have you heard the term like shoot for the stars? If you don't make it, you land on the moon. Boy, if you don't get Okay, what's your point? So like I still got blessed with you, but like growing up as a as a kid, as a young guy, like you think you're gonna get the baddest on the planet, like big booty, big boobs, like So what are you trying little, to say? I don't have a big booty, I don't little, have big boobs. Little flat tummy, like she got money, like all types of I like, mean, I know I don't got BBL big booty or like implants big boobies but like i know i got i got it good enough yeah you you're cool like i'm satisfied i'm cool you're satisfied yeah i'm good where i'm at i'm just saying like i just kind of had to lower my standards because my standards were so high like i saw myself as like being with like the baddest out there and so then, i'm not the baddest in your eyes you don't see me as the baddest out there now i do i see you as the baddest now but like, so what are you trying to say? Like, you're confusing me. I don't understand where you're going with this. Well, I mean, like, as babe, as a young man, like, we, I was so immature. Like, I was looking at the value of a woman is like how her body is and what she could offer me. But now, is it because I had a little booty in high school? So you're saying like, you settled for me because I didn't have a big booty. <laughs> I had to really work for what I have now. Like, I know I didn't have the biggest butt back then in high school, and I was really skinny. I was literally, like, stick thin. I was, yeah, like, 100 so I, pounds. I kind of had to lower my standards a little bit. Like, I want a girl with a nice body and a personality to go with it, and I got the personality. Do you know how hurtful that is? Like, I'm not saying it. Like, we both agree, like, the guy with the lady, she lowered her standards, and she's happy. Like, I lowered my standards, and I'm, I couldn't imagine my life without you now. Like, I'm grateful that I lowered my standards to be with you. That's so messed up to say. But that's like a compliment. What do you mean? That's not a compliment. Saying that in the beginning of our relationship, you lowered your standards to be with me? Yeah. And it ended up, I'm blessed. I'm in love with you. Okay, wait, clarify, because you didn't even, like say whether or not it was because i was so skinny and had a little booty that was what like you lowered your standards first can you like clarify as well, to like how you lowered your standards i don't want to hurt your feelings but yeah i mean you're a young girl you haven't like hit your adult prime yet with your body and like yeah there's uh, girls out there with a bigger butt and nicer body but like i just lowered my standards because i saw like inside of here like what you had in there was more important that's so messed up your cute little heart up. I would never say something like that to you. Yeah, because you, you... I would never say I lowered my standards to be with you. Well, I'm kind of out of your league a little bit. You're out of my league? Yeah, you're you're dating up when you're with me. It sounds like you need to do some, like, internal healing. Because, like, I know I'm not perfect. And I am on my healing journey right now. And I'm still working on a lot of things. Mm -hmm. But you, like, you really got some stuff to work on. Because... What do you mean? To say that I am, like, out of my league when I'm with you. You're like dating up. Yeah. Okay, like, but that, that's so messed up. Like, what, like, how do you think that's not hurtful to me? Well, I'm not trying to be like, we both. So now you still think to this day that I'm less of you, that you are lowering your standards being with me. No, not now. So what do you mean by saying that I'm dating up? So that's already saying that I'm dating up is that I'm lower than you. Well, I'm just saying, like, I'm a sexy ass. You need to check yourself. I'm a sexy ass nigga. Boy, if, if you I, don't if get- I walk in a room, motherfuckers are gonna notice. I know that I bring a lot. I bring a lot to this relationship. So, yeah, like, don't, like, do. don't even try to put this, like, I'm less than of you. Like, do you know how- I'm not saying That's you're so less than me. I'm saying you're just dating up. Like, I'm a very, like, sexy, chocolate, attractive man. But you're saying that man. I'm dating up, so you're dating lower. 
being with me. No, you don't glowed up. Like you, you didn't step your game up. So I would say like you're almost there. Like I'm still a little, little bit more sexy than you, but like I. <laughs> okay, you. Babe, you've got I, to be joking. I had to lower my you're standards. Joking. Let me know that you're joking right now because if not, this is like serious. Why? It's not that serious. It's just like the example with the guy and a girl. Like, you make me laugh and you make you have a connection. So the fact that you're not that attractive, mean, like, you don't think I'm that attractive? There's well, I lowered my standards a bit. Like, I was expecting like fashion over model, and I got, <laughs> I got like. Okay, but I'm not that. I got I mean, like. You can H&M go out model. there and try to go chase out one of the models, but you are not gonna get from them what you get from me. Exactly, and that's why I'm with you. Cause the connection, the way you make so me like, feel. So like, where, like, where do you think, like? Like, where do you think you're going to go with this? Like, do you think this is going to help elevate our relationship anyway? Like, telling me this? Do you know how hurtful that is? I just, it's good to have understanding and communicate things, so. No, that's going to make me have, like, all these doubts. And, like, now I'm just going to be wondering if I see another woman down the street, if you're, like, having questions about our relationship and wanting to be with that woman. No, because it's not even, I look, I'm a grown man now. I know that a woman's value is so much more than her physical attributes. And I learned that from you. Because you don't have all the physical physical attributes. But really starting to piss me off. I'm giving you a compliment. You might not have all the physical attributes that I can get from another woman, but you have so much more. Internally. I have come so far on my healing journey and just like the growth and like loving myself. Then it shouldn't bother I, you if you love yourself. Yes, I love myself, and I know that I bring all that. So for you to tell me it yeah. makes me think that we need to. I don't know, like. Maybe we need to rethink things and like step away from each other for some time Whoa. because I like I know like I've come so far in my healing journey and my like loving myself and like being comfortable with myself. So like if you don't see that, then that's an issue. No, I see it. I, that's what I love about you is like even though you might not have that BBL booty, you still walk around like you got that BBL booty. You feel me? Like, I lower my standards, but, like, the way you carry yourself is, like, you got it all. Can you get out of my car? Like, what? I don't even want to, like... You gonna make me... What am I gonna do? Walk home? Yes, you can walk home. Babe, I'm not gonna walk home. You're being so disrespectful right now. I mean, you get you should get your shit out the back, for real, because you can walk home. Get my shit out my back? This is my car. Babe. You can get out of the car. You got all that shit. Look. You got, no. Babe, you got all that shit in the back. Look. You need to get out of my car right now, Calvin, because you are acting a fool. All right, babe. I'm going I'm to get out, but can you look at your shit in the back? No. Why? Why are you giving me can attitude? Can you get out of my car? Babe, are you, you're just mad because I lowered my standards. Like, you ain't got to be salty about it just because I'm That's a sexy so motherfucker. Up. I would never say that to you. Just because I'm a 10 and you're a 9 don't mean none. You are something else. Babe. Look it. Look at that. <laughs> Why are you about to cry? I'm not about to cry. Your eyes is glossy. Because you're making me mad. <laughs> CJ fam, she had no idea y'all was back there, bro. <laughs> Yo. Babe, I'm I am not about to cry. I'm, I get mad. I get I cry when I get mad. And you know, gangsters don't cry. You ain't no gangster. Get out of here. You're a thug, babe. <laughs> I'm sorry I had to do that to you, babe. You was really like heating me up. It's hot in this car. I don't hey. know if it's really hot in this car or if it's just me nice. because I was getting. <laughs> you was getting a little heated. Yes. Hey, CJ fam, I I just want to let y'all know that I was big capping, like for real, like no. CJ fam, y'all already know. Let me tell her, like. I was about to say, like, why are you explaining <laughs> to them? You really should be apologizing to me. I'm uh, sorry I had to get you with this fire ass prank. Team Calvin, make sure y'all go ahead and t comment that. No, I want you to look me in my eyes and tell me. Tell you what? That you was capping. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real though. I was capping. Because, babe, like, you have everything above and beyond what I can ever want out of a woman. Like, so. you, you're a beyond sexy. You have all the physical attributes. Like, you got that big old badonka donk. <laughs> so all that she was talking about them fashion over models, BBL girls. I don't care about them girls. It don't matter how beautiful they are. There's someone out there that they be getting on their nerves. There's someone out there dealing with their attitude. So it, every, everybody poops. 
<laughs> Everybody poops. No one is like that sexy. There's always going to be someone that are out there more attractive. <laughs> How do you go from that to everybody poop? <laughs> I don't even know. But babe, what I'm trying to say is that like I love you. Like you don't understand the fact that you're in my life it forces me to elevate. Like you uplift me in my life. You provide yeah, I so, so you, do the same for me. <laughs> you provide so much more than like any type of physical attribute can benefit even though you are amazingly sexy like that's like third on the list like first is just the connection that we have like mm -hmm. i feel more comfortable with you than i do anyone on this planet i could talk to you about anything and we just understand each other and then two we just have that flame it's like a connection good because you was really hurting my feelings <laughs> and making me start to think that never that babe you my I wife i don't even know Literally, you, babe, like... I'm your wife. Not yet. You ain't my wife yet. I'm waiting for you to propose. <laughs> Are we going to talk about that? Oh, damn. Let's time to, time to end the video, guys. Time to end the video. We're going to bring it up again. we got to talk about it again on why there's not a ring on this finger. Nah, for real. Just one more thing, though, babe. Like, when something good or bad happens to me or there's something I'm excited about, you're the first person I think about telling. Yeah. And that's how I knew like what? I fell in love with you. Me hey, too, even though you did that, Team Calvin, we back with a dub, man. Man, you don't even give me a chance to mm. breathe. Like I haven't even gotten to get you back. Like you just like I'm. A, I'll <laughs> give it to you, but just know, just know I'm gonna come back harder because you you don't even let me breathe to freaking think to you, get you back. You better come with some heat, baby. Just wait on. <laughs> All right, y'all. Team Calvin with a dub. I hope y'all guys. I hope you guys enjoyed our video. Don't forget, man. Me and my beautiful girlfriend right here are on the road to 10K. Make sure y'all tap in with us. Hit that subscribe button. Subscribe and join the CJ fam. Gang, 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 gang. Now this man's about to go take me to get some food because he pranked me. So you're gonna take me wherever I want, right? Oh, we going to Mickey D's, right? No. <laughs> yeah. All right, CJ fam. We'll see y'all in the next video. We out. Peace. Wave. I'm in it for keepsake, in the field with the cleat lace Beat freak with the bare face and a slick tie, that's what she say She look good, she a big tease when she bite lip with the wink face Hella bad when she throwing it back, she bring out my way for the team play For Pete's sake, I'm above average, I'm padding my stats I got a matter what he say, I'm the 2010, yeah LeBron James off the backboard Type of bad boy, hold it down for the task force If I run his fade, then you ask for it Niggas cross, need to laugh more, I keep it 100 on dashboard The live show, need a passport, cause the beat bounce to the cap torn Feel like I live it fast forward, but I